What's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today I'm here with the great thief class and we're gonna be taking a look at it follow swiggity swiggity on Twitter link in the description a big thank you to him for letting me use his class uh, so to get this class what you want to do is wait for the intro to play <laughs> Once the intro is done playing, uh, you want to slash join Hero Mart. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people already know this, but just in case someone stumbled across this video and did not know how to get the class, I'm just going to show really quickly how to get it and then we'll get into the class. Uh, so you just go to this guy, uh, go to back, uh, he had he had it here before, maybe it's, you may have to go inside now. Go to store? No. Okay, well, you can get it in the merge shop that's here. Uh, I don't know where the merge shop is currently. Uh, no, like, this brings you to Hero Mart. This is awkward. <laughs> where is it? Alright, well, this is Hero Mart, and you have to get the class by spending, uh, I think it's like $50 worth of Hero Mart. Okay, I was kind of confused there because they did have a merge shop for it before, but I think some people were exploiting the fact that it was a merge shop and... Yeah, don't don't exploit the game, guys. It just ruins it for everyone. Um, now you have to get it in a quest. So if you have the ten hero mark points, you can get the great thief class. I did not know it was ten. That's a lot. So to get the hero mark points, what you have to do is buy items off the hero mark uh, store. It's pretty expensive. Uh, one point is equivalent to five USD, United States dollars. Um, so. If you buy one of these prints, you'll get 10 or two, not two. Well, it's $10 for two points. I like that. So $5 per one point. So the class is one of the more expensive classes in the game. Is it worth it? Probably not. But I'll show you how the class works in this video. Let's get into the first thing. Let's go look at the combat and skills. All right. As far as combat and skills goes, this class is actually very nice. I like it. It's ranked 10 already. I don't know if there's ranked 10 passive, I could not figure that out. There might be, and it's worth probably getting it up to rank 10 anyway, uh, just in case. So your two rank 4 passives are luck increased by 20%, and a increased dodge chance by 20%, which is, is a dodge class, kind of like a ninja rogue kind of class, but it's a lot better than those two different classes. So your first skill is called Treasure Toss, and what it does is gives you a random effect. So each treasure causes a different effect, so use their powers wisely. Each aura debuffs them for 35% of the shown effect. Pretty cool. Um, don't really know too much about the skill. I've used it a bit, and it seems okay. Uh, so this is really cool. I like this. Uh, the stealth, um, you slip into cover. You increase your dodge chance and hit chance by 35% for 10 seconds. That's quite a long time to have uh, that much more hit chance and dodge chance, making this class very good in PvP. Um, flip a magical enchanted coin, call it heads or tails, apply a head, a large HOT, heal over time for 12 seconds, or tails, returning around half of your mana. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good third skill. Very useful for getting health and mana back. Uh, in the short time I've used this class, never drop below max health. Um, very good class from what I can tell. And then your big ult skill your main damage dealer is attack your foe for and when they least expect it dealing huge damage if stealth is active stuns for four seconds if hidden blade is active which i guess you get hidden blade off your two skill uh or your the treasure chest skill uh i guess if hidden blade is active it causes a bleed out damage over time for eight seconds so very cool skills i like these skills it's a very nice class i wish i could buy this class for acs i would buy it if it was an ac class quest um it's a very nice class i like this class a lot well, let me show you the animations because the animations are pretty cool all right so uh we're at the undead pirates of course these are like what everyone tests every class against to uh against on youtube so look at that animation so i'm gonna do it also because that way it's a fair comparison between all classes so we're actually doing a moderate amount of damage of 500 damage and the dodge chance and everything else is pretty insane and if you, you can get a stun if you mix your 3 and your 5. So if you do a 3-5, you'll get a stun. So very good PvP class also. I'm sure this would destroy most classes in PvP. Unless you're talking about maybe like a knockback class would take it out. 
Uh, I want to try this class against the Eternal Inversionist. Maybe we'll do that on a stream one day. Because that would be very cool to see who would win that fight. I bet you it would be very close because they're both dodge classes. And I'm sure they'd both be very, very nice at PvP. So as you're seeing, my health staying full, my mana staying full. Uh, the mana staying full next to the, for the three skill and the cooldowns being so short as they are. Um, your mana just goes up really fast from that four skill. See, I just regained over half my mana right there. Very, very nice skills. If we go to a mob that has a little bit more health uh, down here, we will see how good that is. I've never actually tested it against a higher health guy. I'm sure it'll just destroy him. He's only level 45. We should go, we'll go find some harder guys to fight later on. Damn, we hit a 1500 right there. So you're hitting not that big a damage. You're not gonna be hitting like 12Ks like Stone Crusher or anything like that. So it's not gonna be that good at farming single bosses. But it's not really made for that. It's more of a PvP sort of dodge class. It's, it's decent at farming, honestly, but it doesn't have multi-target like Blaze Binder, so you're not going to be really using it when you're just farming for a long period of time. It's not really made for that, but as you can see, it's very capable of keeping its health up, and also the mana up from that 4 skill is just insane how much mana you can regen. I know you can't see my health and or mana right now, um, but let, you, let me tell you, it's it's full all, all the time. <laughs> Goddamn webcam. Alright, um... Actually, let me remove my webcam for a second, and you can see uh, the because I realize I've been talking about my health and mana this whole video, and literally you can see it the whole time. So let me let me uh, stop the recording here for a second, and uh, let's change that so you can actually see my player's health because that would be nice. Because I remember last time I did a guide, everyone was like, "Hey Corey, hey Corey, um, um, sorry, little little issue. We can't we can't see your health." Okay, let me, I'll be right back. Okay, now it should be on the. Uh, right hand side of the screen so the left I should probably keep it on the right hand or the yeah the right hand for class reviews so let's hit that four skill oh we got a health over time of zero what that was a, it applied one zero health okay so we have a hundred and two hundred fifty I will now show you how the mana regen and stuff works because I yes I'm very not very good at class reviews guys I don't know why you come to my videos for class reviews um, I'm just reviewing the class in the best way I know how, which is very bad. So look at that. Okay, so let's wait for a four skill regen. I'm not going to use any more skills. We have 30 mana. Um, boom. Oh, did we get a heal? Yeah, we got heal there. So even without the uh, mana coming back, it's just we're getting it back from taking damage and dealing damage as we're dealing a lot of consistent damage with a 200 damage auto attack. I'm using unarmed, which is the most stable weapon in the game. Just to be fair to the class and not uh, show it was unstable, which could show results that aren't uh, aren't very accurate to the actual class, how it how it be used. I'm sure this class would be amazing with unstable, and if I was going to do PvP, I probably would use unstable in this class. Uh, seeing how much dodge chance it has. Oh, I just did 2,300 hit there. The stealth is so nice with that increase of chance. I'm almost never missing, which is rare. And adventure quest unless you're using a class with a really good hit chance. Am I gonna get my mana back? I want to show my mana go back like from nothing to full instantly. It's crazy. But it looks like it's gonna take a while for that to happen. We're, we seem to be getting heals. Which is good. Heals are good but our health isn't going down. Like we're dodging every hit and our health isn't going- there we go. Mana just went up to full right there instantly. That's great. So this class never runs out of mana. The health issue seems to be non-issue. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any health. I've never gone below 75% health. I don't even think I went below 80% health with this class the whole time I've been using it. It's very cool. Let's go find some more higher level mobs to fight against. Alright, here I am at the Blood Titan. This isn't the Ultra Fight because the Ultra Fight, even with the full team, is pretty hard. Well, it was pre-Stone Crusher, but yeah, it's, still, it's still a little bit of a challenge. And you're not going to be able to solo with this class. We could... Actually, the dodge chance is pretty insane. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I've been hit with this class. I think I've been hit like two times. Um, it's a lot of health. He's a, he's a four star. Uh, not that anyone cares about that, but he's this is a pretty hard fight. Let's let's give it a shot. You know, maybe we instantly die. Maybe we uh maybe we dodge a lot. Uh, yep. Yeah, we're, we're yep. That's what I thought was gonna happen. So. No good against, well, this is, you need a six-man team to kill this guy, let's be honest with ourselves here. 
you, you need a six-man team, so we're not going to do the ultra fight. But this guy, he should be capable of soloing right now. I don't know. Like, this is actually the true solo test right here. I like to test on Blood Titan because it's not an easy boss, but it's not not too difficult either. It's about a middle of the road, sort of maybe a little bit more higher end boss fight. So we're going to be wanting to use that four uh, whenever we can. The four and the three are going to be our main survivability uh, aspects, and then using that five whenever that's active. Hmm. Okay, we got wrecked. So it seems like a dodge chance wasn't as good as I thought it was. Maybe they maybe this boss just has a huge hit chance. And our dodge chance really doesn't counteract that. Let's try one more time here. So I use uh, 3, 4, 5 is what I'm using. And then I, I could probably spam 2 because 2 doesn't take up too much mana. It's only about 20 mana for your 2 skill. And that's probably where a lot of your DPS is going to come from. Is your 2 skill. I don't think it's close to me for soloing. If I had a support, like if I had an oracle or a healer in here, or in a perfect world with stone crusher, that would be insane. If you had one other guy with you, you could probably take this, you could probably 2v1 this guy, but I don't think a 1v1, uh, it's not a good soloing class. So we figured it out, it's not a good soloing class. It's mainly a PvP class. Am I going to show any PvP in this video? Probably not. I mean, I'll try actually. I'll try for you guys. So, uh, I have to swap servers and all that, but if I find a fight, I will record it and I'll show you some PvP. Uh, if I can't find any fights, I apologize. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below your thoughts on this class. I think it's a pretty insane class. Um, I like it. I like dodge classes. I'm a fan of them. Uh, I mean, internal inversion. This is one of my favorite classes in the game. It has a ranged auto attack. This class does not have a ranged auto attack, uh, but... Uh, I would compare this class to an internal inversionist because that's the most recent like kind of dodge class that came out but an internal inversionist i think is a bit better than this class honestly um just being honest uh, i mean i don't know if i have uh, that on this account but uh i would show footage to compare it to but i don't think it really needs a comparison because this class is kind of like in its own in its own field up there as well as far as price goes where you're paying I think it was 10 bucks for a normal class. You're paying like 50 bucks for this class or some insane amount of money for a single class. So I don't think it's really uh, worth comparing it to other classes that much. I Actually, I think the Eternal Versions would win against this uh, class. Maybe not in a PvP fight, but in a viability and uh, just as a normal value per your money class, the Eternal Versions would probably win. So I'm just rambling on at this point. If I can find any PvP matches, I will record them. Uh, thanks for watching again. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed. I already said that twice. I'm not going to say it again. Peace. Have a great day, guys. All right. We are queued up for the Doomwood Arena on Arctic server. So hopefully we find a fight and I can destroy someone in this class. If not, that would suck. I mean, I always have a hard time trying to find PvP uh, matches for my videos. So most of the time, that's why I don't do them often in the class reviews. But I'm going to try more and more to do that in these videos. It's hard. If I was on my main account, it'd be a lot easier. Oh, shit, we found one. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, I got my fingers in the right place. That would be silly if I didn't. I'm going to pop a 3 and then a 5. Hopefully that works out. Oh, we're having connection issues with the other guy. He's not joined yet. Alright. Uh, this guy's Eternal Inversionist, which is a very nice class. He stunned me. I think my, I think it's too late to use my 5. Okay, so the Eternal Inversionist has a huge range advantage on me being a ranged class and a nice dodge class. And I think I'm using the 3k amulet too at the moment. Uh, I can't get my three, then my five, and I keep getting stunned. Oh, hit the five. There we go, we stunned him. We wanna hit her two now, but it's not, the auto attack isn't engaging. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this class is pretty nutty. It's just so hard to get next to this guy, right? There we go, we hit the 500 on him to kill him. Drop that guy. And we still have 3k health. I think we had the uh, better amulet though. Uh, I'm going to see if I can swap that out for 1500 maybe. I'll see you guys in the next match if I can find one. Alright, I have the 1500 amulet equipped now for fairness. Uh, if my inventory will open. So, I had the 1500. I had to put one of a uh things in his bank. I think I put his class boost in his bank. Hopefully he doesn't mind. Uh, so now he has a 1500 am amulet. So when Swiggity PVPs me on stream, he can be fair. <laughs> Cheating with their 3k amulets. 
I've never used a three K amulet before because I just think that it's pay to win and I don't want to participate in pay to win even if I can. I don't think that's very fair. Uh, so let's hit that three for the dodge chance. Let's hit that five for that huge crit and that elemental Dracomancer was nothing. <laughs> Crazy. I wish they would uh, put an amulet in the game that's like 10k health and everyone could buy it. And then we could have like long uh, skill, like skill, more skill based. Well, it's, it's still an RNG component, but a more skill based uh, sort of battle where using the appropriate skills actually matters a bit more rather than just hitting like, what is it, like 3 5 on Cyromancer and getting a 7k hit. Like, <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, let's see if we can find another one, that, a more formidable opponent. Real quick, if you're new to the game um, and you want to do PvP, because I know a lot of people don't PvP in Adventure Quest, and I, I always wonder why. I actually know one of the reasons why. It's hard. Like, I, I, most people probably don't even know that there is PvP in the game unless they've been in the community for a while. So, if you're new, uh, what you want to do to 1v1 just random people is go to more battles and then click 1v1 and then go to the Doom Arena or just slash join Doom Arena. Um, I like to click because clicking is easier than typing for me. It probably is for most people. 1v1 strangers and then join PvP like that. Uh, you probably want to purchase a PvP amulet first before you start PvPing. But I know most people watching this video already know all of that. So definitely not for uh, the very, very skilled people. That tutorial right there. But if you're new to Adventure Quest and you want to PvP, that's how you do it. I probably shouldn't be including that in this video. I maybe should make a separate video how to PvP in Adventure Quest Worlds. Because maybe some people don't know how. That might be a good video. That might be a good video. That guy just called call me out as being Ray. I'm your biggest fan. I'm Ray right now? Thanks. I like your... Can you say booty? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. Are we joining a new war zone now? No, I think I think he plays with Cory. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Okay, we gotta rejoin. He dope. No way. You dope. No way. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is a great video, Cory. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm technically Cory, but I, I think I'm role playing as Ray right now. I think Ray would say something about hentai or something about how much anime he watches. Whew. Whew. I was watching his stream yesterday. Oh, thanks for watching my stream. All right, <laughs> let's get into some PvP here. This will be the last one for the video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, the video. Let's see if we can get 200 likes on the video. That'd be great. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Oh, it's a blaze binder. Uh, easy wins? No, maybe not. Uh, let's see. <gasps> Damn, that 2k came out of nowhere. Holy crap. Alright, so, in conclusion this video, it's, uh, this is gonna be like a 20 minute video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the class is really good. If you want to spend the insane amount of money this class costs like Swiggity did, um, you can do so on the Hero Mart store. Um, and they have some good items there. I wish their t-shirts were a little cheaper. I mean, $20, uh, it's maybe it's worth it. Um, they have a bunch of cool items there. I mean, I'm not paid to advertise it at all, but if you want some Adventure Quest themed stuff, uh, one of my f favorite things they sell on this website that I haven't even bought for myself yet that I probably shouldn't feature is Card Clash. Hey, look at that set. That's fully color customizable. I'm a big fan of color custom stuff. So you can get Card Clash there. People always ask me where to buy it. They think it's only at Toys R Us or something. It's $20 on the website. I can get t-shirts, calendars. Calendar classes are also very nice. I've never had one before, but I've heard people talk about them, they're very nice. Oh, they have their bacon t-shirts back in stock, nice. And if anyone from Hero Mart's watching, and they would like a suggestion, uh, more t-shirts, more different ones, just the, the, why do you sell Spider-Man t-shirts, but you don't have one with like, they should, they should sell, it would be very cool if they get your AQW character on a t-shirt with like the username above it, like Adventure Quest Worlds below it. That'd be so cool. I would buy that, honestly, because I'm a huge nerd. Uh, put a one in the comments if you would buy that also. Uh, all right. All right. Enough advertising. Very good class. I like it a lot. Thanks for watching the video. I've said that like 300 times in this video. I'm just going to end it now.
Peace. Have a great weekend. Have a great week if you're watching during the week. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.